today we are going to read some stories about dogs and counting. Our first book is called Lyle Walks the Dogs. Lyle the Crocodile has a job, a brand new job. Lyle's job is walking dogs. It is a very good job for Lyle because Lyle loves dogs and he loves to walk. And best of all, Lyle loves being helpful to others. Lyle is so happy. Today is day one, the first day of his job. Day one, Lyle walks one dog. The dog's name is Gwendolyn. Uh-oh, Gwendolyn is frisky. She pulls this way and she pulls that way. Lyle must take quick skipping steps to keep up with Gwendolyn. No problem, Lyle loves skipping. Day two, Lyle walks two dogs. Count them, one, two. The second dog's name is Morris. Oh, and guess what? Morris is even friskier. Lyle must take even quicker steps to keep up with Morris. No more skipping. Too bad. Day three. Lyle walks three dogs. Count them. One, two, three. The third dog's name is Pokey. Pokey takes his own good, sweet time walking. Slow down, Morris. Slow down, Gwendolyn. Come along, Pokey. Good going, Pokey. Good work, Lyle. Day four, Lyle walks four dogs. Count them. One, two, three, four. The fourth dog's name is, oh no, her name is Frisky. Hang on to Frisky, Lyle. Day five, Lyle walks five dogs. We'll count them. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth dog's name is Rosie. Rosie loves birds, bugs, flowers, children, and Lyle. Most certainly Lyle. Day six. Business is picking up. Lyle walks six dogs. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth dog's name is Snappy. Snappy is, well, rather snappish. He barks and barks. And barking, as you know, can be quite contagious, especially for dogs. Six dogs barking. What a racket. What to do? Leave it to Lyle. His gentle tugs, pats, and shushes calm everyone, even snappish snappy. Day seven, Lyle's excellent reputation for walking dogs has spread. Lyle walks seven dogs. The seventh dog name is Tulip. Tulip had to be coaxed out from under the couch. Everyone waited and waited for her. But now look at Tulip. Just look at her trotting along, merrily wagging her tail with the best of them. Day eight, Lyle walks eight dogs. The eighth dog's name is Scrappy. Scrappy runs, stops, or sits as he chooses to run, stop, or sit. Not to worry, Lyle is on the job. His kind heart and big croc smile win the day. Scrappy falls quickly in step and all step cheerfully together. Big cheers for Lyle. Day nine, Lyle walks nine dogs. The ninth dog's name is Rufus. Rufus is so happy to be walking with Lyle. He scratched at his window for days, yearning to join the walk. And Lyle is tickled to have Rufus aboard. Day 10, Lyle walks 10 dogs. Count them. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The tenth dog's name is Sniffy. Sniffy walks nose to the ground, sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Suddenly, Sniffy is onto something. What? A squirrel. The dogs run, the squirrel runs, Lyle runs too. Are all of the dogs here? Let's count them and see. One, Gwendolyn, two, Morris, three, Pokey, four, Frisky, five, Rosie, six, Snappy, seven, Tulip, eight, Scrappy, nine, Rufus, ten, Sniffy. They are all here, safe, well, and thirsty. Good dogs. And good job, Lyle. The end. Hi, I'm Gabe and I work at the Hurston Branch Library and I'm going to do a song with you showing you how to wash your hands. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Scrub them all together, scrub them all together, now they're clean, squeaky clean. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Scrub them all together, scrub them all together, now they're clean, squeaky clean. Remember to wash your hands often, especially when you go outdoors, after you use the restroom, and before you eat a meal. Stay safe and have fun. Our next book is called Dog's Colorful Day by Emma Dodd. This is Dog. As you can see, Dog is white with one black spot on his left ear. At breakfast time, Dog sits under the table as usual. Splat! A drip of red jam lands on his back. Now Dog has two spots. After breakfast, Dog runs outside. He slips past the man painting the front door. Splish! His tail dips into the blue paint. Now Dog has three spots. Dog runs to the park and rolls on the grass. Squash! The grass makes a green stain on his white coat. Now Dog has four spots. Dog follows a little boy eating chocolate. Squish! The boy gives Dog a chocolatey pat, but no chocolate. Now Dog has five spots. A bee buzzes up to see what is going on. Swish! The bee drops yellow pollen as it flies by. Now Dog has six spots. Dog trots on through the park. Splash! A drop of pink ice cream lands on his right ear. Now Dog has seven spots. Time to go home. Dog runs up the street. Splash! A bouncing ball splatters Dog with gray mud. Now Dog has eight spots. In front of the gate, Dog steps on a carton of orange juice. Splurt! A patch of orange appears on his leg. Now Dog has nine spots. Dog races back inside the house and knocks right into Vicky. Silly dog. Vicky's purple marker leaves a smudge on Dog's head. 
Now Dog has 10 spots. Vicky looks down at Dog. She counts all his colorful spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Vicky looks more closely. Dog has a red spot of jam, a blue blob of paint, a green stain of grass, a yellow patch of pollen, a brown smear of chocolate, a pink drop of ice cream, a gray splatter of mud, an orange splash of juice, a purple smudge of ink, and of course, a black spot on his left ear. You need a bath, dog. When dog climbs into bed, he has just one black spot on his left ear. Good night, dog. What a colorful day you've had. Storytime. I can't wait to see you back at the library. In the meantime, keep